Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. I had a lot of requests from designers who wanted to know how they could create templated uh, designs for each and every one of their design boards. So you can see at the bottom of this design board, I've got uh, a templated area here that is branded to my business. I'm including my logo and the project name and the room that I'm working on. And if I flip through each of these uh, design boards here, you'll see that same branded element on each and every one of the design boards that I have created for, for this project. So if I flip through again, you'll see the blank template that I created, and I used this for each and every design. So basically, uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna create your branded template, and then anytime you wanna create a new design board within your project, you're just gonna go up into this menu up here, and you're gonna duplicate the design. And that will ensure that every single design board within your project has that same branded element. So if you're interested in creating templated designs for your projects, keep watching and uh, we'll just go ahead and I'll show you some tips and tricks that you can use to create your own branded elements. So let's just jump right into the editor. Now it's completely up to you and how you want to brand your design boards. I typically like to take over just a small portion of the bottom edge here because I want the majority of the space in my design board for creating my actual design. So for me, I'm just gonna jump into the text library and I'm gonna pick a font that I like. And we'll just call this the uh, project name here. So we'll call it the Banting Home. I'm gonna line this up at the bottom edge of my design board here. Just increase it a little bit. Next up, I'm going to grab a font and add in the actual design board that I'm creating. So maybe this is a case where it's going to be the living, uh, let's say the living room floor plan. And I'll include a floor plan image for this particular design. Okay, so we'll add this in. I'm gonna scale it down. Uh, it's completely up to you, again, how you wanna do it. I like creating a bit of a difference between the project uh, name and the uh, room that I'm working on or the design board uh, title that I've created just for a more graphic element. Uh, in this case, I'll probably even just change up the color of the font as well. So maybe this will be the lighter gray color. And you can kind of roughly align things for now. It doesn't matter if it's 100% accurate because we'll fix that in a moment. Next, I'm gonna go into my library, into my project items, and I uploaded a logo, uh, my business logo into my project items. So I'm just gonna find it, there it is. And it looks like I need to touch up the background image a little bit here to bring back the full background. So I'll just drag this toggle all the way to the left using the background removal tool. Save that, and now I've got a nice clean logo design. So now I'm gonna scale this down on this end. And as a final step here, what I'm gonna do is go into the paint color library. In the paint color library, I'm just gonna find a color that I can use. This'll do. I'm gonna drag this up to the top corner of my design board up here. And then I'm gonna use the transform tool. And I'm gonna drag this all the way across to the top uh, other corner here. And I'm just going to quickly pull these corners up to create, let's make sure this is all the way over to create a nice thin line that I'm gonna use as my divider line for this particular uh, project here. So again, I just want it nice and thin. That'll do, just a little bit thicker on this end. Oh, I'm a fuss pot. Okay, here we go. Let's just use this one. Alrighty, bring this down. I'm gonna scale it into place. And I just want to align it with the, um, basically, let's just make sure that my logo and the Banting title here have the same distance on either side. Then I'm going to expand this so that my divider line hovers right above and in line with the edges of these, uh, these particular branded elements. Okay, now that I have that, I'm just going to uh, duplicate this uh, divider line slide it underneath my text and just make sure all my text is aligned. And actually that was pretty good for an eyeball. So we're just gonna slightly alter this so everything is sitting on the same line here. Drop my logo down just a smidge. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this double or this duplicated uh, divider line. And we can probably just shift this slightly up to give it a little bit more space. 
And that's it. So I've got my branded element. Now I'm gonna save this. Back to the app. And now anytime I create a new design board for this project, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I duplicate my uh, blank template. So I'm just gonna hit duplicate design here. And then uh, once that's duplicated, then I can start uh, going ahead, edit this design and build in the uh, design that I actually wanna create above this branded element. So do that for every single design board that you create. And that means that every, uh, pro every design that you hand out in this particular project will have that nice cohesive branded element. If you ever wanna use this branded template for any of your other projects, then you can go into this menu here and you can copy the design board to another project entirely. Just select the project you want, add in your branded template, and then you can use that template for each and every design you create within that other project. So I hope this was helpful. Um, and if you do have any questions at all, then just let us know. We're always happy to help.